ultra-Orthodox father from Orange County speaking exclusively to News 12 tonight for actually the second time this year because of his ongoing concern over his son's education. Yeah, as well as hundreds of other children in his community. News 12's Blaze Gomez has a story you'll see only on 12. In one of the highest ranking school districts in the state. Not can read a normal a sentence in English. Hundreds of private school children in the insular ultra orthodox community of Palm Tree are allegedly slipping through the cracks. Does he know anything about science, social studies? No. Shocking allegations made by this father who asked we didn't reveal his identity out of fear of retribution. He says his 11 year old son goes to the private yeshiva Shari Torah in Monroe. He says the boy who's in sixth grade doesn't know the alphabet and can barely add and subtract. The, the yeshivas do not give good education and the, the children cannot uh, grow up in the normal way. The father first reported the allegations to News 12 in January, which he says prompted the school to briefly teach English and math as required by state law for about an hour a day. But he says that was short lived, and since the start of this school year, nothing but religious studies are being taught. We went to speak with someone from the school. We had spoken to a parent who said that his child isn't learning any secular studies, no English, math, social studies. Science. Science. Um, I think it's not right, but I don't want to comment. Under state law, superintendents are required to ensure private schools in their district are giving students an education equivalent to those in public schools. In this case, the jurisdiction falls under Monroe Woodbury. Local districts are getting mixed messages and have been getting mixed messages from the state. Jewish education activist Naftuli Moster helped the father file a complaint with Monroe Woodbury earlier this year. Superintendent Elsie Rodriguez says she's met with yeshiva leaders and is waiting on more guidance from the state. In the meantime, Moster says the education system is failing thousands of kids. My concerns about this case is twofold. What he's describing is not unique to him. This is system wide in Palm Tree Blaze Gomez News 12. Now we did reach out to the State Department of Education who asked that we require inquire about the allegations by email and so far we have not had a response.